Southern California residents have seen fires grow all too common over the last several years. Cal Fire is now stepping up efforts to prevent future wildfires with prescribed burns across the state and here in San Diego County. In this week's Earth 8 special report, we are taking a closer look at the environmental impact of those fires. Across San Diego County, Cal Fire is always working ahead. In the winter and spring, when fire season dies down, they're busy prescribing burns, also known as controlled burns, to get the upper hand on the fire season to come. We're not naive in thinking that these fuel breaks, these prescribed burns, that it's going to be the end-all be-all answer and we're going to be able to just walk away and be good. We know the fire is going to continue to burn for these wind-driven fires. We want a chance to, to make a stand and really to help preserve life if a fire does burn through that area. It was the first story I covered with CBS 8 last year, the Valley Fire near Alpine, and just a few weeks later, the Silverado fire in Orange County. It is just coming down on this hillside here behind us. The need obvious to clear dead and dry plants, weeds and make way for fire resistant plant life. Ultimately the burns being done to help ecologically to help bring that forest back and then of course the added bonus is that we're getting our guys trained. We're getting them out there um, dealing with fire conditions that um, are hopefully less extreme than, than what we're going to see here in a couple months. <laughs> And that directive even coming down from the state to direct more money and resources toward these burns as wildfires destroy animal and plant life in the millions of acres each year. We're trying now to do that. And we recognize that that requires efforts to do prescribed burns. It requires efforts to get mechanical equipment out into the forest to prepare for those prescribed burns. But do these prescribed burns inherently harm plants and wildlife? Experts say not as much as you might think. With the slower pace and smaller acreage of controlled burns, animals are able to clear out safely, unlike with fast-moving wildfires. Plus, with fires being a natural part of the cycle, these burns can actually help foster more growth. Without fire, we're going to lose a lot of these plants that have evolved with fire and require fire in order to regenerate. And Cal Fire says over the last several months, they've actually been focused on putting out a much different fire. That's providing COVID-19 vaccines to those in the community. They say this is the time as we head toward the summer months where they start to transition and bring those men and women back into the field to be prepared for any upcoming wildfire. Fire researchers say to expect an already severe drought to worsen the 2021 fire outlook with fire starting earlier and burning more intensely. That's why they say the focus should be on prevention, giving firefighters and residents near the flames a lasting chance at defending our land when flames start. Our education is never going to stop. We're always going to be out there kind of beating that drum and, and making sure that people understand the importance. You know they're on top of things, uh, especially San Diego firefighters. I mean, they get there quickly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that was the interesting part was when I was talking to Thomas Schutz there, the mm -hmm. PIO for Cal Fire, I was saying like, you know, the last several months have probably been a little bit quieter, right? And he was yeah. like, no, because they that their guys have been the ones administering the vaccines mm -hmm. over the last, uh, you know, several months. So pretty incredible that they are, they're never stopping. You right. know? They wear a lot of hats they they do. right now, yeah. that's for sure. Mm -hmm.